We are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lynn Mar. It's Monday, November 5th, 2012. Here's a look at the stories making news on your Lynn Mar campus. Our top story, giving back to the people who give so much, from new technology to funding the special causes of every building in the Lynn Mar district, LMTV's Kennery has that story. Thanks, Bailey. Friday, the Linmar Foundation took the time to say thank you to financial donors throughout the community, first with a luncheon at the LRC, then with the official ribbon cutting of the new donor wall. The wall, created by Presentation, a company that works with museums and businesses across the nation, collaborated with the foundation to come up with the design. It takes a community to build a lion. The donor wall is right outside of the Little Theater, across from the Upper Commons. Check it out. Bailey, back to you. Thanks, Kennery. That was the same company that helped design our new news set. Thank you, presentation. In other news, robotics faced the first FTS qualifier of the season in the main gym on Saturday. Linmar's team Dark Matter took first, and Super Ninjas came in second and received an innovation award. Both teams will be heading to state in late January to compete for Worlds. The event was streamed by 967 Iron Lions in an affiliation with LMTV Live Sports, because robotics is a sport. Remember, everyone is welcome to join robotics. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. On October 29, 2012, Hurricane Sandy made landfall five miles southwest of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Sandy was the largest Atlantic hurricane on record, spanning 1,100 miles. It has affected at least 24 states and is estimated to cause at least $20 billion in damage. But you can make a difference. On November 8th and 9th from 7.45 to 8.20 at the Four Corners, there will be a bake sale and donation box where you can give a few dollars to help the millions of people affected by Hurricane Sandy. Welcome back. The Spring Musical will be announced today after school in the auditorium. Anyone interested is welcome to attend the meeting. If you cannot make the meeting, you may pick up an informa information sheet in Mrs. Smith on Tuesday. Now Lauren joins us with sports. Lauren? Thanks, Bailey. On the scoreboard, it was a great weekend at State for the girls' swim team. Lindmar tied for 15th place out of 34 teams. That was the second best score out of all the teams in the metro area. In diving, Lindmar tied for 5th out of 9 teams. Alyssa Dusso took 8th overall. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to the, congratulations to the Lindmar competition cheerleaders as well. They placed 3rd at State in Des Moines on Saturday. Tonight in Lindmar Sports, boys bowlers, there's a tryout right after school at the Cedar Rapids Bowling Center. A bus will be provided. In other sports news, attention all cross-country runners. The awards banquet now starts tomorrow night at 6 in the Lower Commons. It is a potluck. See the website for details. Coach Hopkins wants to make sure there's pl plenty of chocolate. Fall female athletes, you've been warned. Clean out your lockers and remove your locks in the girls' locker room today or else. Lock cutters are standing by. That sports. Back to you, Bailey. Thanks, Lauren. And news from the counselors, a rep from Barbizon College will be in the Lower Commons Wednesday during all four lunch periods. Anyone interested in taking AP Microeconomics or AP Macroeconomics as an independent study next semester should see Mrs. Connerly in room J202 very soon. There are limited spaces. Applications for internships through the Workplace Learning Connections are due Friday. See Mrs. Zygtema to find out more. For more on internships, scholarships, and upcoming college visits, stop by the counselor's office or check out the website. Now Hannah joins us with Arts and Clubs. Thanks Bailey. On the Arts and Clubs scene, the Instrumental Music Department would like to thank everyone who came out to make Friday night's annual Jazzathon a huge success. Various jazz bands played throughout the evening, including an alumni band. The fundraiser also included a silent auction and of course plenty of food. Do you want to expand your vocabulary with knowledge of words derived from Latin? Or do you just simply want to have fun studying a fascinating language? Then come join the new Linmar Latin Club. There will be an informational meeting Thursday at 8 a.m. in Mr. Tracy Hopkins' room. No prior knowledge of Latin is required. All members of the speech team met this morning. If you missed the meeting and still plan on being in speech, you should see Mr. or Mrs. Fry soon. Auditions for the Freshman One Act will be held tomorrow after school. The annual Soda Co-Ed Volleyball Tournament is Friday at 6.30 in the high school gym. This event is open to all Linmar High School students. Stop in Kevin McCulley's office to get your team entry form. That's your club update. Bailey, back to you. Thanks, Hannah. Hey, Lauren, what's for lunch? 
It's a sandwich from Subway with fresh veggie toppings and oranges. The other lines will offer the potato bar, pizza, the salad bar, or a la carte items. Food court serves Subway. That's lunch. Back to you. Thanks, Lauren. LMT weathercaster Maddie Spencer says we are in for a cloudy day with a high of 46. Tomorrow there's another chance of rain with a high of 51. And Wednesday we will see sunny skies and a high of 50. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Make it a great day, Linmar.